Hi YouTube, it's me TFL Wilderness. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my 700 subscribers review special. <laughs> yeah, uh, when I say special, I mean there's nothing really special about it because it's a pretty much run-of-the-mill review video. Um, but uh, you know, it's special in that I'm not reviewing a Korean toy because I these days I tend to specialise on reviewing just exclusively Korean figures. I don't really bother with uh, official toy reviews mainly because. You know, everyone else, you know, reviews special toys and uh, they do much better, more entertaining reviews than what I do. So you're more likely to go and watch their reviews than mine. And I'm, and I'm, a, I'm a little fish in a big pond and uh, my, you know, official reviews don't get much traction. So there's not really much point in me doing them. However, these subscriber specials, what it is, is that um, because I'm, well, when I started as out as an adult Transformers collector, I decided to take fastidious records um as regards to my collecting habit so right from day one i've been taking records of everything i've bought um every bot that i've bought who i bought it from how much i paid for it and all, all that information all that data has been collected since day one and uh, every bot has a bot number a serial number in my collection and eventually i get to what i refer to as a centenary bot you know you get to like 100 bots 200 bots 300 bots and we're now up to bot 700 so i thought for the first 1000 sort of bots every time i get to a centenary bot i will withhold a review of that figure for when i get to said number of subscribers on my channel and i've recently hit 700 subs um tuesday the 17th of august so it was a couple of weeks ago but uh this video will be going out i think it's what is it the um let's have a look at the diary um saturday the 4th of september i think this is going out so yeah right um right a little bit of backstory on this one um, bot 700. Um, I purchased it on uh, Tuesday the 9th of May 2017 and it could have been something very different from what I'm about to show you. Um, the main reason was um, earlier that month I placed an order with Kapow for a couple of things. Um, some uh, you know, unique toys, palm collection figures and this thing. Uh, Lost Exo Realm LER05 Chimera. Now there was a bit of a mix-up with my order. They sent me the the alternative version of this called Ikara, which is a, a Pachycephalosaurus instead of a, a, a Velociraptor. I wanted a Chimera. There'd been a mix-up with my my package and somebody else's package. Unfortunately, they didn't have um, uh, another Chimera in stock to, to, to resend me, so I had to send this back. To, well, well, not this figure, but I had to send the Ikara back to Kapow. And then a few days later, they they said, right, no, what, what else do you want? And I had to pick something else. And I picked another figure, which was more expensive, so I had to pay them a, a supplement, and then they sent it forwards. Um, in the meantime, the two figures that they had sent were bot uh, 698 and 699. So the next bot I bought, or the next bot that came in, would have been bot 700. So I was a bit, uh, mm, I was looking at what I'd purchased and uh, one of the bots I'd purchased was this guy. This is um, Tobot Athlon Metron from uh, uh, season three of the Tobot uh, Athlon uh, series. Um, I'd uh, ordered this guy, he was incoming and I was a bit worried that this guy would come in and become my bot 700 uh, because I, when I, 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 I like to specialise in Korean toy reviews I like to withhold, well, I like to review the Korean toys as soon as they come out. And uh, I was a bit worried this guy would come in and be my bot 700. So, um, yeah. <laughs> um, he didn't actually arrive till the uh, Tuesday the 16th of uh, May. But um, anyway, because of that, um, I was in a bit of a quandary. I was a bit worried that, you know, that guy would come in and take the, the, the 700 bot spot. So... Uh, and my replacement bot from Kapow, I wasn't sure when that would come in either. So I was a bit stuck and I thought, okay, I need to buy something quick. And so I went out, it was uh, no, Tuesday the uh, the 9th of May, I went out to Sainsbury's because a few days previously I've been to Sainsbury's, I noticed they had the, uh, the, uh, the last night uh, deluxe figures on the shelf for Wave 1. So I went in and I bought um, two figures, I bought the... Um, I bought, uh, what was it, uh, TLK Premier Deluxe Barricade and TLK Premier Deluxe Berserker. But Barricade, as he was the first bot I purchased, he was then my bot 700. 
So I purchased him and I thought, okay, that's it. He's my bot 700. Little did I know, a couple of days later, Friday the 12th, my replacement bot from Kapow arrived. <laughs> Takara MP13 Masterpiece Soundwave. So if I'd have waited a couple of days, this would have been my bot 700. This. I would have been doing a review of this instead of the bot I'm just about to review. So, dull bonehead. If I'd have just waited a couple of days, I could have been reviewing something really cool and impressive like this. But hey ho, it wasn't to be. The bot I actually got for my bot 700 is this guy. So it's TLK, you know, um, you know the last night deluxe barricade. But um, actually, I mean, obviously, I've still got the packaging for it. So it's got the... Now, this is a movie figure that came out for, you know, the last night. One of the... Well, well all the figures that came out for the last night. There was a very limited uh, number of figures they actually did for that line. But um, they <laughs> tried to bump the price up of the figures because the, the previous t movie toy line, um, Age of Extinction... Uh, they were only like like 15, 16 quid was the, the retail price for, you know, deluxe figures. 25 quid I paid for this and, you know, Berserker. 25 quid they were asking for these. And I mean, yeah, they put them, before they used to be on blister cards, you know, like a card with a plastic bubble and a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a, like a little cardboard tray around the bottom with some artwork on it. No, they put them in proper you no know, boxes and they, they slapped the... the the premier edition logo on it to justify the the twenty five pound price hike they put on it because then they're asking like nearly ten quid more for, for a deluxe figure than they were you know for the, the previous movie um, bit outrageous really anyway so I bought this guy um, here's the TLK packaging as you can see yeah it's got the the premier edition logo on it fairly sizable box it's got plastic clamshell inside. Deluxe class, and then it says, you know, Sinister Trickster on there. So, yeah, still got the box. And uh, here he is. So, here's Barricade in his car mode. He is obviously, you know, a police car like he was in the other movies. I mean, the other movies, his police car was, um, it, was, a, it, was a, it was a boss Mustang that they'd done up as a police car. This is um, just some spurious sort of, um, you know, muscle car that they've done. It's not based on a on a on a you know like a Ford you know, Mustang. I mean, there's no sort of Ford copyright you know sort of bump on the back back of the box because usually when they do a licensed vehicle mode, they usually put oh this you know this this vehicle is copyright you no know, Chevrolet or Ford or, or or Porsche or whatever it is they put on the back when they use a licensed vehicle mode. This isn't so. It's just it's just just a random car that they've made. It, it's quite a good car. I mean. It's mostly in this dark blue plastic, but then it's got the uh, the white painted doors with the police and the uh, Decepticon sigil on the side. He's got little little painted tail lights on the back. He's got the to enslave to punish and enslave around both the rear wheel arches. It's got black re wheels. Um, it's got like a, a transparent light bar on the top with some little blue and red uh, lights. Um, Got some painted light detail on the front with the uh, the blue and red lights and the uh, the headlights picked out. Um, also um, molded detail. It's got molded uh, windscreen wipers. It's got molded uh, uh, wing mirrors, and uh, it's got a license plate on the back, exhaust, and uh, like a like a rear diffuser type thing. And then you've got like grill detail and uh, extra sort of light lights on the front, and it's got nice nice molded wheels with uh, nice pinned wheels that roll extremely well. So his, his alt mode is, is really cool. Um, it struggles to um, peg together. I mean, these panels at the front don't seem to want to peg together properly. It's barely holding itself together at the front. Um, now, it does come with some accessories. He comes with um, uh, a baton or a nightstick. It comes with a a little pistol that's kind of like a Colt 45 type thing and then he's got this this blaster sort of Gatling sort of ring thing that goes around one of his arms now this can open out and it's got two pegs on it and this guy has you no know, full weapon storage in alt mode so he's got some 
some little pegs on the back of the window and the uh, the thing plugs in there so it's kind of like a like a launcher like a like a grenade launcher or, or a, a, a smoke bomb launcher or a button round launcher because you know he's a police enforcement vehicle you know so he's got that and his other accessories will plug underneath obviously you've got robot junk underneath but he's got these um, slots on his thighs so you get your your baton and then there's a slot on the baton and that plugs in there and then the gun can uh, go in there as well they do stick down a little bit but uh, it does still roll really well on a flat surface so there we go that's that's great so yeah his alt mode's pretty successful it looks like a cop car it looks like a typical police car he's got weapon storage so that's 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 pretty good so we'll take that off and then we get to transformation so he's a movie figure um, transformation is pretty straightforward on this guy because you know he's, he's just just a car former and uh, he's barely holding together at the front so let's start by start unplugging things so So let's take the, the top of the vehicle, unplug that first. Oh, pulled it off. There we go. So basically pull the, the top of the vehicle mode off, up. And then you can pull the arms out to the side and plug them and pull them out to the side. Then the shoulder joints pull them up and then bring the arms down fold the hood chest down legs unplug fold the foot round on this double hinge then rotate it forwards that gives him his feet. Then the uh, fold the uh, the doors in, and then sort of collapse the the uh, the roof of the car into the back. Then you just fold these wing pieces up and uh, there we have barricade in his bot mode um a little fiddly um but you know it's a movie figure they tend to be like that um obviously i haven't handled this thing much since i bought it um so it's still reasonably fresh uh the joint tolerance seems a little loose on a few joints while I've been transforming it there. Um, this uh, backpack thing doesn't seem to want to plug in anywhere. Um, but he looks pretty good in robot mode. He's uh, he's kind of stocky. Um, I haven't... Uh, uh, there we go. I haven't... Um, got a size comparison to hand to do a size comparison with him i mean obviously <laughs> the usual size comparison i use is like combiner wars megs and uh, he's not really fair because he's like from a di totally different toy line and he's a leader class figure um so i would say he's a reasonable size deluxe he's not super large um he's got a decent amount of molded detail on the chest because it's the front of the car mode um he's got some molded detail on his midriff, bit of bit of sort of molding on his le on his legs, on his shins, uh, the wheels and the, the wings of the car took took round the took round the back quite well. He's got the uh, the front the front you know, sort of fenders of the car on his shoulders, so that's they're they're sort of out of the way. And his head sculpt, uh, typical sort of 
movie style head sculpts you know it's got all the it's got the multiple sets of eyes and a kind of like a mechanical bug type face um but uh yeah uh the other, other feature that he's got he's got knuckle dusters on his on his wrists one says protect and the other says serve so if you get punched in the face with this guy you'll have an imprint of the word <laughs> protect or serve across your forehead in reverse <laughs> So yeah, he's got that going on. Um, he's a pretty cool bot. I mean, like I said, it's it's barricade and barricade. You know, he's pretty badass. Uh, even though he didn't do a fat lot in the last night, um, his uh, time to shine was really in the the first sort of movie when he was like one of the first Decepticons that, that appeared on screen. Um, yeah, so his uh, robot mode is he's all right. It's okay. It's not bad. It's one of the better figures to come out from Wave 1. Well, <laughs> let's have a look at the box, shall we? I mean, I mean, all you've got is uh, Berserker and uh, that rehash of that uh, that uh, last night uh, Bumblebee mould. So, uh, yeah, so this is definitely the, the, the better figure to come out as part of the, uh, you know, the Wave 1 line for the TLK movie. Um, articulation. He's got a ball-jointed head that turns quite readily from side to side look up and down a little bit a little bit of sort of quizzical tilt um, shoulders on a, on, a, on, a, on a mushroom peg they go all the way round the arm can fold up like that but if you fold that out of the way well no you can't get any more out like that so the arm will go out that far uh, it has a bicep swivel has an elbow joint that goes to 90 degrees and he has wrist swivels, so you know, he's pretty good for articulation on the uh, the top half. Um, now he has a waist joint. You have to. Um, does he have a waist joint? No, he doesn't. Ah, I thought he did. Uh, yeah, because he's uh, the hinge for his backpack just plugs into his ass. So, yeah, no waist joint on this guy. Um, he's got um, ball jointed hips. Go forwards go back obviously they hit the backpack they can go out to the side so you can do the full splits um, thigh swivel decent 90 degree knee bend and uh, hasn't got anything on the feet apart from a few joints where they can rock backwards and forwards but no ankle tilts as such so yeah he's a fairly standard deluxe figure um, pretty good uh, his uh, Obviously the accessories that come with him, he's got um, his nightstick, that will just plug in his hand and then he can sort of batter bots to death with it. And then he's got the gun, which can go in his other hand, and he can go pew pew bang bang, you know, shoot people. But uh, the other accessory is his uh, sort of like Gatling cannon thing. And there's a couple of pegs underneath the arm. It sort of sort of pegs in, and then the uh, it closes round his hand, and then he's got like a this Gatlin thing, Gatlin cannon launcher round his uh, round his wrist, and that will fit on both arms. So he's got that. Um. He's okay. He's a, he's an all right figure. He's a, he's all, he's all right. He's not too bad. Um, like I said, he hasn't got a waist joint. Um, rest of the articulation's okay. He's got no waist joint, no ankle tilts. But uh, apart from that, you know, the rest of the articulation's all right. Um, decent molding, paint apps. He's not exactly mega flush with paint apps. He's got a lot of bit of coloured plastic on his thighs. He's got like grey and the cream plastic. Um, got a few little paint bits on his knees and on his chest and on his face so yeah he's not super super you know blathered in paint I mean it was a premier deluxe you know premier edition you know was it really worth the 25 <laughs> price point that this guy went for I don't think so I mean you, you can do a lot better than this but you know as he was the best figure from you know the wave one TLK figures well, you didn't really have much to choose from, really, <laughs> to be honest. So, yeah, um, he's all right. He's okay. 
And here's my bot 700. He's uh, it could have been something else. I mean, I could have been doing a review on this, for instance, but uh, unfortunately, um, yeah, it wasn't to be. Um, I took a decision to to go out and buy this guy because I was a bit worried that uh, something else might come in and steal the spot. But as it happens, you know, yeah, it, it's a thing. And right, so this is. Obviously, bot 700 to celebrate, you know, getting 700 subscribers. And uh, thank you for anybody who's you know, recently subscribed to my channel. I would very much appreciate it if you would <laughs> watch more of my videos to improve my viewing figures a bit, because my viewing figures are still <clears throat> pretty, pretty crap, really, considering I've got 700 subs. And um, they have picked up a little bit. I mean, only a little bit lately. But, uh, you know, if, if I'm going to continue doing this, then, you know, I want a little bit more encouragement. And I'm not the sort of person that would beg people for views or say, oh, hit the subscribe button, hit the, click that notification bell, you know, and I, I don't do that. I don't go in for that because, you know, <laughs> you're quite free to do whatever you want with my videos. You, you can watch them if you want. You can watch the first five minutes and then switch it off and go watch something else, whatever. I mean, my videos tend to be a bit long and rambly. That's just the way I am, I'm afraid. Um, so, right, uh, um, before I sign off, uh, I will say... Um, the, the next uh, subs uh, subscriber centenary reviews are going to be a bit messed up. Uh, mainly because at the TF Nation after this, or later on this year in 2017, um, I made a couple of mistakes or, or discrepancies on my bot numbering system when I was you know, adding the bots that I bought at TF Nation. And as a result, it, it, all my numbers after that event were three digits out. And it meant that ev all my... You know, centenary bots after that effect were different to the ones that I might have said in previous videos. So that's bots, you know, bot 800, bot 900 and bot 1000. So, <laughs> yeah, I will explain more about that when we uh, get to those uh, lofty heights. Um, I, I do seem to be picking up, you know, subscribers at a steady rate at the moment. So might be doing my 800 uh, subs video before too long. But uh, that's been me, TFR Wilderness, doing my 700 subscribers special video. It's not really special, it's just me doing my usual review style. But, uh, you know, reviewing the uh, TLK Barricade bot, because, you know, he was bot 700 in my collection. So I thought, bot 700, 700 subs, that, that's how that works. Um, right, so yeah, I just thought I'd throw it in as, as an extra review this month. Um, Going to be doing my... Uh, usual stuff um, after this, you know, uh, unboxing videos and my KTRT reviews. I am sort of planning on buying free Korean toys again this month. So I look forward to that if you're a regular viewer. Um, so I've been TFR Wilderness. Hopefully you've uh, enjoyed this video and I'll catch you all next time. Ta-da!